Hey guys, today we're talking programming and before we get into programming, which I'm going to be showing in the future, I want you guys to know what I use to program. So today we're going to download the Eclipse IDE, IDE editor with Java on it and then we're going to put in the PyDev plugin so that we can use Python with the Eclipse interface. So let's get started. Um, first thing what you want to do is you want to open your web browser and you want to go just type in Eclipse download and so I just choose the the first one here and um, it's real intuitive you go download get this Eclipse IDE for 2019 um, it's gonna complain and say that you can't download it because you don't have the uh, development kit for it so um, it'll it'll lead us to that um, and I'll show you that here in a second once it gets done downloading here but that's the first step you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get that kit before you can use Eclipse so right here it says the required 64-bit Java virtual machine cannot be found do you want to browse for the system well we don't have it so We'll just say yes, and we don't have it. So it's going to take us to this new window, and um, you're just going to go ahead and download it. It says, please download and install a Java runtime environment or Java development kit. We're going to download JDK. So um, you takes you to this page and all you gotta do is just accept the agreement and then download the 64 the executable right here for Windows I'm using Windows for Mac you would just uh, do the one of the other two other choices here um, we'll run this and it's gonna take a few seconds to download um, so I'm gonna pause the video so it got done downloading so I'm just gonna open it up execute it and then it's installing that Java SE development kit and you just click next and you select the folder you want to go put it in just kind of make note of where it's at mines and program files and it'll go ahead and install I'm going to pause the video until this, well, I guess it's faster than I remember. And so <laughs> you say, so it's successfully installed, we're good to go. Um, I just close it. And then we go back to our Eclipse page. So we're back at our Eclipse download page. Now we should be able to download it and I just click download and it'll run over here for a little bit and then you'll execute it and then it'll start that download now you'll it'll you'll have Java pull up with it and then you can begin to install PyDev um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this Pulls up our Eclipse installer. And it'll come up with a list of the Eclipse editors you can install. I'm going to do the Java one. This is kind of the standard one. And it found your JDK that we downloaded. So we're good to go there. And there's the installation folder. You can change that and we can begin the install so it's gonna cycle here for a little bit I'm gonna pause the video and open it back up once it's installed that's faster than I thought guys so never mind so you're just gonna accept the default stuff so after it cycles there a little bit it's gonna come up with this window and you're gonna say select all you're gonna 
select all these options and accept the selected and then it'll proceed to complete the install and then you want to launch it and this is Eclipse 2019 wow this is so I'm so amped up man this is so exciting but yeah um, so now you have Eclipse with Java on it and Java is a language that I think anybody should play with and learn you know you can make up your own workspace um, put your workspace where you want to I'm gonna just put it here and launch this so you can make a workspace different multiple workspaces it's basically where your code is stored and so it'll start the IDE and you will see Eclipse and you will have access to Java so this is code I wrote previously not important it's not important but you can go ahead and you can start a new project Java project and you can give it a name call it test one finish that and I don't want to create that I'm going to open their perspective view so I can see my packages and then you can so you always create a new project and then you go in and you can put in a class and so I want to make this class I want to call the package it's in as test1 and then I'm gonna call this test1 also and then I'm gonna add the main and then click finish so there we have it so this is my class and I can put in my Java code so just say we want to do the hello world thing that everybody does system out system dot out press enter dot print press enter and then say hello world and that quote I run it and I need a quotation here and I run it and hello world it prints in your console so now we have Java on this we know we have Java on this so now we can use it but now I want to show you how to install PyDev so how do you put PyDev on here with Python well you gotta go to your browser again and then just go Google and Google PyDev download this is a little bit tricky to get it on here but I'll show you how so you go to here and it'll have this is the home page you want to go to PyDev getting started and then you go down here a little ways or at the top you'll find installing you click that and then you go down here a little ways and it kind of shows you some pictures on how to do this but you're gonna copy this URL and then you're gonna go back into Eclipse you're gonna go to help and then you're gonna go to install new software you go in here and then you paste the site in here paste that URL you click add and then you can call it PyDev name it PyDev say add and then there it finds it so you want to put you want to select PyDev in this box and then select next and then what it's doing it's doing its downloading process and there you have it so click next and then accept the terms and agreements and then say finish and then what it's going to do is it's going to uh, install it um, you just click install anyway we know this is PyDev the PyDev plugin for Eclipse and it's going to install your software and you'll see down here um, it's going to want you to restart you restart in order to get PyDev on here and it will restart on its own it's opening it back up in the Eclipse IDE and you'll
you'll magically have pi dev and so there's another step you have to do you have to tell pi dev where your python executable is so if you hadn't downloaded python yet you'll want to do that um, but i'll show you how to select the interpreter so you go to window and then you go to preferences and then you go down here to pi dev you select that arrow and then you go to interpreters and you s select python interpreter and so what it shows here it actually shows my interpreters in here already but it usually won't be so um, we're just going to go ahead and just add it so it'll normally come up as a blank box right here so you want to go to browse for the python executable and mine will be in the C drive um, you'll have to download this and you go to I'm gonna to go to Python 3.6 this is my executable I select it and then I can call this I'm just gonna leave it Python 36 so I know what version I'm on and then I select OK and it's going through it's pulling on all this information from that and you want to make sure all these are selected press OK and then there you have it it pulls in your packages and everything with that Python interpreter and then you just say apply and close so now you have Python on your Eclipse IDE you have it in PyDev now you can use Python in the Eclipse editor so now you have Java and Python so you can in one editor so you can uh, mix and match or, or play with whatever one you want um, but it'll go through this process right here it's taking a little bit of getting that all on there and I'm gonna just pause the video because this is gonna take a little bit so after it's completed that we can now go open a Python project through PyDev so what you'll do first is you'll make a new project go to other and then you'll have bunch of selection menus here some I've already opened but you'll go down to PyDev and then you'll go down to PyDev project and so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna give it a project name we're just gonna call it test 22 and then it'll tell you what project type you want it to be we want it to be Python and then it's gonna use your default interpreter um, I would just leave this as default and then your interpreters are right here so um, the default is Python 36 which is what we want but you may if you have multiple ones you may have to select this drop down menu and choose the correct one for your application and then after you're done deciding on that stuff you can go to finish and then it'll say open perspective um, I'm gonna select no and so my test 22 is over here now as a project and what I'll do is I'll right click and then go to new and then go to other and then select a PyDev module and so I'll have to give it name a package I'm gonna call it test 22 and then I'm gonna call the name of this is PyTest and select finish and then it'll have templates I want I'm just gonna leave it empty um, so here's your Python template now now you can code in Python so we're just gonna use standard Python syntax so that's a little bit easier um, so you go to there and then you can type in hello world and then add a semicolon on the end if you want to or you can leave it um, that's let's run it you go up to this green button and then click Python run say OK click OK and there we have it we just ran our code hello world in Python Wow man this is so exciting but that's it guys that's how you install PyDev in the Eclipse editor and so the step you have to do before you do all this is download Python so you can have it executable to reference for PyDev to reference and then you're done so guys that's this is what I'm going to be using in some coding tutorials in the future. So if you're interested in following what I do, I would highly suggest you install this. Eclipse is one of the easiest 
editors to play with. It's one of the fastest you can use because it's got refactoring, autocomplete, and it's just a real good editor, hands down. So I highly recommend it. And if you want to do it, you have the knowledge to do it now. So guys, I'll talk to you later. And as always, keep working hard. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing and leave comments down below and I'll try to answer those to the best of my ability. But um, you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.